Here we are at one of our sites in East Kilo. Um, we're at the slab stage, as you can see. Uh, often people ask us, why is a building on a sloping block so expensive? And uh, this site here is probably a good example to explain where a lot of the costs go. First of all, uh, you can see the uh, magnitude of the machinery required to uh, cut into this block. And uh, how are you? Um, and uh, that is due to the uh, volume of soil that needs to come out to give us a flat plane to work to. Uh, beyond that, um, this particular site is heavily laden with rock, which is very expensive to remove, uh, to get out of the ground and actually dispose of. That is not always the case on all sites. You'll sometimes have natural soil, uh, which is a lot cheaper, but still um, expensive to get rid of in any case. The other big key component, as you can see here, are the number of retaining walls. So this edge of the slab is actually a retaining wall, which will be retaining uh, these rocks and protecting this um, lower slab from uh, water getting in from uh, ground drainage. So here we're just starting to prepare for the block wall. Um, and these steel rods are actually going to be encased in the bricks with concrete and create a solid mass uh, of, uh, of wall that will protect both the uh, building from any rock slide and from water. And, uh, and we, these are um, referred to as uh, starter bars. Also, you'll see uh, in this um, particular site, the ground is very rubbly, um, laden with small rocks, which we call floaters. Uh, this is very challenging when digging in services such as plumbing, sewer and power as uh, the ground does not retain at all and just keeps caving in. Um, again, uh, this causes uh, quite a bit of cost in removal of uh, soil and time by the trades. Uh, another issue, uh, as you can see here, is the different levels that are required to deal with the slope. So this garage is uh, sitting uh, down probably about a metre and a half from the dwelling um, which also uh, creates its own challenges from an engineering perspective and the volume of concrete being used. Again, with this slab, uh, highly architectural design, custom home. Uh, we've got a polished concrete slab, as you can see here, which is an architectural feature of the place and, um, and will uh, eventually be uh, highly polished to a uh, gloss terrazzo sort of look. Um, that's pretty much uh, the basis of the structural elements of getting into a sloping site. If you uh, have any questions, uh, feel free to ring, ring Randmark Homes, experts in custom homes and difficult site building. Thank you.